So we've described the benzodiazepines, we've described the benzodiazepine receptor agonists, uh, or the Z drugs, all of which act at the level of the GABA receptor and augment the activity of GABA. Now, there are other groups of agents which have been introduced which don't act at the GABA level at all, but um, act at the wakefulness level of the wakefulness system. Uh, these are the drugs which antagonize uh, wakefulness neurotransmitters. For example, um, uh, uh, um, doxepin is an antihistamine. Doxepin at low dose, 3 or 6 milligrams, is a pure antihistamine and uh, diminishes the histamine wakefulness drive and therefore can produce sleep. It's indicated for maintenance insomnia. The American Ger Geriatric Society has recommended that it not be used at doses above 6 milligrams because it seems that that drug tends to acquire anticholinergic properties at larger doses and may produce memory decrement and other problems if used on lo on a long-term basis. So 3 to 6 milligrams of doxepin. The other drugs which also can be uh, interest that are interesting in that they do not have a GABAergic mechanism are the melatonin drugs. Remelteon, for example, is a melatonin receptor agonist which is indicated for sleep initiation insomnia or problems falling asleep. That drug is available one dose and that's eight milligrams and it's also interesting in that it does not seem to have any addiction potential, much like doxepin, and it also has a safety profile which is unparalleled in the sense that larger doses don't seem to have much in the effect of respiratory suppression. The, the um, melatonin receptor agonists may be appropriate for patients who have significant uh, drug addiction uh, histories as well. And finally, the orexin receptor antagonists. As I mentioned before, the orexin, recept the orexin, the orexin system it seems to be responsible in promoting arousal or wakefulness, but also in terms of regulating the transition between sleep and wakefulness and ensuring a stable relationship between sleep and wakefulness. Uh, the agent that's been, uh, that was introduced and has been uh, available by prescription is um, suvorexant. Suvorexant is a dual orexin receptor antagonist, and it has been studied in patients for as long as three months on a long-term basis and seems to be effective and is indicated for sleep initiation and maintenance insomnia.